mentioned the car said it was uh, 42. It's currently 41 according to my weight. What do you think of the glass house, girls? Good, good. Enjoying it? Yeah. Good views. Good views. Cool. <laughs> they got a lot to say, as you can tell. <laughs> I might have forced them to be on there, but anyway, they'll look back in 10, 20 years time and hopefully remember these trips. G'day, how you going? So right now I'm sitting on the banks of the Murray River at Token Wall. So I left home early this morning and I've driven up here and I'm actually making my way up to Queensland. Got a family uh, gathering up there, so I'm looking forward to doing that. But I've actually got about five or six days to get up there. So I haven't filmed anything this morning, nothing too exciting as the highway run. I thought I'd kick off this video here just over the border in New South Wales. I've got no set plans yet. I'm sitting here with a road atlas and those of you who have been around for a while know that I don't use any or much at all digital mapping. So I'm just sitting here with the old road map, listening to the Corellas. I just had a coffee and I'm about to hit the road and head up to Gerildery and throw some fuel in the old FJ. But I'll uh, bring you along for the ride. So it's about one o'clock now. I've just pulled into Narandra, just trying to stay out of this wind. And it's before the temperature gauge in the car said it was uh, 42, and it's currently 41 according to my locations and the phone temperature gauge. So I just pulled up here to have a wrap. But yeah, 41 degrees. The FJ's taking everything in its stride. Just got the aircon on just low there, just to keep it uh, a bit cooler. So make up some lunch, and then I'll uh, jump back on the road. And just chucking in here. I haven't filmed much up to this point. It's going to be, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but obviously the newel's not that exciting. The road's been pretty good. Not much traffic around. It's Sunday afternoon. I think it's the 18th or 19th of March. 19th of March, 2023. The truck rolls in behind me, but yeah, tuna wraps for lunch. Back into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to add earlier. Um, I am driving up by myself, so it's just a solo run up. And I'll meet the family up there later this week or Friday night I pick them up actually but uh, the video will be well and truly out by then but yeah pick them up later just doing the, uh, the big solo run up So last night I actually just stayed in a uh, little caravan park in Forbes. It was only 20 bucks for the night, but after a 42 degree day yesterday driving, it was good to have a swim last night, a shower and all that sort of stuff, and a nice fresh shower this morning. So I'm just currently driving on the road into the dish. So I just um, went up from Forbes to Parks. It's currently 28 degrees, it's 9.13 in the morning. So it's gonna be another warm one today. But yeah, about to pop in the dish. A uh, little fun fact about the dish. Last time I came to the dish, a few years ago, we drove up here in the patrol. And as 
was heading out, I uh, got a wayward rock and it took out my windscreen. So there's a video I've done, I think I talked about a while ago, I've done about seven or eight windscreens in that car and this is one of the spots I did one. So anyway, time to go check out the dish and then I'll uh, head up to Peak Hill, throw some fuel in the car and then continue on to Dubbo. But beautiful blue skies and no rain on the radar at the moment which is pretty unusual for our camp so anyway off to check out the uh the dish all right so here i am at the dish um but to go in and check it out so there's no phones you gotta have your phones off so i've just left mine in the car so it'll be uh for that but about to go in check it out and have a bit of a wander around great part of Australian history here so like I said I have been here a few times before and uh, after I spoke to you before like 6 k's in off the road it's now about 31 degrees it's jumping up pretty quick today but about to pop in and uh, check it all out So I've just spent over half an hour in there checking out the dish. There's plenty in there for kids. There's a 3D movie as well, which is no good for me because my glasses. Are, it's a bit of an admission fee, which is only $9.50. But yeah, I'd find 3D movies hard to watch. And just while I'm talking to you now, there's a plane going across, leaving a big vapor trail right above the dish there. Um, I'll see if I can get on this little camera, but definitely worth stopping. Definitely with kids and stuff as well. And Big kids, there's a playground and a cafe, and if you are here, the cafe is closed on Mondays, which today is. But anyway, jump back in, head up to Peak Hill, and see what else I get up to. Right, oh, so I'm at the Peak Hill Gold Mine, just on the right on the edge of the town here at Peak Hill, off the Newell Highway. It's a little bit of a breeze there. I'll uh, drop some footage in there and I'll show you this open cut. So it's an easy walk up. So all ages, all kids, and if you have to get up here, there's no stairs or anything. It's just a nice little viewing platform inside this little uh, shed with a bit of mesh there, but it gives you a bit of perspective of the hole here. And then there is a couple of bigger walks right around that check out a few different features as well, which I won't be doing today. But uh, yeah, Peak Hill Gold Mine. Chuck it on your list of places to check out if you're heading up or down this new highway. All right. Alright, 
so the sun's in a bit of a terrible spot there but just pulled over on the side of the road here in the Mount Caput Cap Utah. I'll get that right soon I'll have to reference it and we're heading up the hill now just sort of sun's right in that shocking spot so it's not real easy to shoot these hills but the contrast and the shadows are bouncing off all the hills here at the moment so I'm going to uh, keep moving on like I said just a quick little stop over on a side note the FJ is going awesome handling this heat and everything without any dramas which is making life a lot easier than the old GU you used to hate these hot days especially with these big hill climbs that I'm doing now it's actually probably not that big to what I'm used to but the roads we've had coming up have been fairly flat but it's good to get into some mountains Right, oh, here's tonight's camp. It's called uh, Glacier Rocks at Rocky Creek. So it's in between Narrabri and Bingara, I think it is. So I'm going to set up here. There's only one other camp here. I just had a quick look down the river. It's pretty spectacular down there. There's little waterfalls, etc. I'll get that swag set up and. So I've just come down to the falls there, so this glacier rock, there's um, toilets and there's uh, drop toilets and there's bins there, it's a free camp, I just found it on wiki camps and wiki camps doesn't show as many camps as it used to, so I'm sure a few of you are aware of that, but this is a pretty good one to uh, stop at. No. So just while dinner's on the go there, simple canned veggies and a couple of hot dogs because I forgot to cook them today and they need to be cooked. So that's cooking there. But a couple of new additions to the rear storage setup. I'm not sure whether I mentioned this yesterday or not, but I've got this little cavity spot here. I've done a video on that one. So I know oh I didn't do a video on that, but it was on my Instagram reel. But table, first thing out, last thing in. So that's made life a lot easier in the last couple of days. And I've also gravity fed my water jerry can, so that's working well as well. And there's a video on that one. So those two new things, pretty simple and effective. This will probably be all I'll film for the night. I'm going mad as well, I've lost my other cap, so. Who else loses things when they go camp and put something down and you look 10 times and then it's right in front of your face. If that's you, comment down below because that's definitely me. Alrighty, hot dogs are nearly ready. And then I'll have a wash up and then an early night. See what tomorrow brings.
the morning, so it's uh, Tuesday morning. Last night I think it was warmer than the night before over in Forbes, but um, absolutely beautiful morning this morning. I've just walked down to the river here, and these granite rock formations here are unbelievable. There's like rocks sitting in rocks that have been smoothed off over, I don't know, let's guess millions of years, but absolutely spectacular spot down here. Good campsite there. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, there's rubbish bins and that there. There's a few little swimming holes here and there's a few little fish just jumping around in the water there, getting their morning feed. But uh, put the head back up there and have some breakfast and work out what I'm going to do today. But yeah, fantastic spot. So uh, add it to your list of spots you might want to check out if you travel in this area. All right, so I'm all packed up now. So if you're heading along Kalani Gap Road from Narrabri towards Bingara, I think it's, I think it is. I know I'm pretty hopeless with these names, but a little bit of an unfamiliar area, even though I've traveled in these parts before, but just gonna look for this sign here, ancient geological site, then head down, follow a little bit of a sealed road. And it's only about 100, 200 meters down towards the campsite to where those waterfalls and the rock glaciers are. So I'm about to keep heading across I'm all packed up and uh, see what today entails. All right, so I've headed, went across to Inverell and then up to Ashford, and I'm now heading into the Kuamble National Park. So I've had to book it online before I came in which is a bit of a pain, but anyway, it's all done. So the road coming in, um, just a limestone road, it's called. You do pass a few properties, so just remember to slow down past there, and there is wandering, there was some sheep and cattle out on the road as well, but there's plenty of signage, just remember to respect that on your way through. Head down now and uh, find my campsite. See what this area's got to offer. So I'm looking forward to staying here for the night. Righto, what an awesome campsite this is. So when you make your online booking, you have a choice whether you want to park next to your camp, next to your car, got caravan, tents, and group bookings. So just make sure you do read through that properly when you do the, do, do the booking online. Now, campsite number one's over behind the camera there. That's up against a massive big rock wall. There is someone camped down there. Being a Tuesday night, you know, there's not many other people around, just myself and the yeah, other campers down there. Straight down behind me, over my shoulder, as you walk along, there's a wood uh, wood bin there, so wood supplied. Um, it's about 28, 29 degrees now, so obviously I'm not going to be having a uh, fire tonight. I don't need that to cook on anyway. And down there, there's also an electric barbecue, which is free to use. And there's about four or five, at least, drop torts situated along on the other side of the road there. And the river's to this side. Now, as I drove in, two emus just come running through the camp here. Uh, the herd goats on the other side and the birds haven't stopped since I've been here So had a few spots of rain on the way in tonight I think I might even actually roll the awning out which will be the first time so far for this trip and I'll also uh, Have a nice shower there. So I'm all set up for that as well So obviously I had one at Forbes the other night had a good wash up this morning, but I'll uh, get the shower set up tonight and freshen up and then Tomorrow I'll go and check out the waterfalls McIntyre Falls which is just on the way in. Now it's a little bit of a maze coming into here. There was no sign for the initial turn into the actual national park. You'll just see a sign that says falls. That's where you've got to turn in, depending which way you're coming. It's a left or right turn at the intersection. All right, so it's time to get the awning out. I'll set the swag up and uh, it's only 3.30. Had a pretty cruisy day today. Not too many Ks, but I'm uh, looking forward to a bit of a cook up tonight.
Right, oh, so it's about five past six now. I've already had my shower and stuff, and I just went for a bit of a walk up the river. So by now you would have already seen those shots. Just remember to keep in mind though, uh, watch out for snakes. It just has a very snaky sort of feel of country in there. Normally when I'm at work, I'm wearing a set of gaiters, but uh, didn't bring them with me. So I was on very much of a snake watch there and head back now and start cooking some dinner. Probably gonna have an early one and look at heading off early, but I'll just walk up the stream a fair bit. Bit of rock hopping and stuff like that, but uh, definitely well worth the peace and serenity. The birds have just started to fire up a bit now. So time for some uh, dinner. So just here on the sign, just here on the sign, just in front of my camp, it's got the 2021 flood level. So where I'm standing now, it would have been over my head. Probably wouldn't have been able to stand here, obviously, because of the current, but where the car is down the back there would have been well and truly underwater. And no doubt when that was on, you wouldn't be able to make your way in here. There's a lot of causeways on the way through. One of them had a bit of water in it, just like a little splash, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, give you a, that little bit of interest there. Alright, good morning. So it's Wednesday morning. Um, just packed up the awning. The swag's already rolled up. Just before 7.30. So I'm going to, like I said yesterday, I'm going to make a bit of an early start. I checked out a few things here yesterday afternoon. And this morning on the way out, I'll go to check out McIntyre Falls, which is meant to be just a short walk out to the waterfalls there. The sun's coming up nice and early there. So I'm about to, uh, once the swag's on the roof, do the falls. And we'll probably head back up towards Texas and then cross over into Queensland. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm not sure where I'll end up today. Um, we'll wait and see where the uh, where I feel like going to. But uh, yeah, all packed up there now. I had some uh, did some yogurt, some yogurt and grapes for breakfast this morning. So no cook up or anything. So it was nice and easy. Already had the stove and that packed away last night. So the sun's come up behind me there. There's been heaps of kookaburras and coffees and stuff going off, as you can hear in the background. But there's something else I'll add. Remember yesterday I thought it was going to rain? It was quite cloudy. Pretty much just as the sun set last night. Just as the sun set last night, all the clouds cleared. There's a, heaps of stars out last night. No moon. I've had that for the last three or four nights. So many stars. It's awesome. A couple of times I've got up during the night and I have seen some shooting stars, which is really cool. You see a lot of that in the high country when you camp, if you sit up at night time and just look up at the sky when there's no moon, all the uh, shooting stars and satellites, etc. But yeah, no rain last night. Looks like it's going to be another warm one. All right, so I've just got to McIntyre Falls car park. I don't know whether you can see it, but there's a... I'll try and turn the camera around. Of course, it's only a little camera but there's about five or six goats and they're all eyeing me off a couple have got big horns on them so i'll uh go check out the waterfalls and head down past these goats look like there's another viewing area down there i doubt you can see them oh there you go there they go all right let's go look at these falls uh, also, if you're driving in and out of here, watch for wallabies. Had a few then, I'm just putting along. But uh, yeah, had a few 
just jump around, obviously, out in front of you. Because I'd never go the opposite direction. Also, while I'm walking up to these falls, be a good day area here if you're in the area as well. Because there's electric barbecues here. There's picnic tables. And the roads are in good condition. So you could easily get in here in a car. Maybe just check it out if it's wet. If it's been a lot of rain with the causeways. But it's a really well set up park. The trail I'm walking up now, <coughs> it's only 100 metres up to the falls but it's all a, a formed asphalt trail first impressions here holy moly this joint's <coughs> awesome i'll turn the camera around you're going to see it for the first time as i as i am all righty here you go Probably not the best time of day for filming, but with the naked eye, absolutely awesome. This place is crazy, crazy good. Now it's pretty hard to capture this on the camera. Um, obviously the sun's still quite low. But right behind the camera there's this massive gorge. It all just steps down through a series of rocks. And you can hear the water just rushing through, even over behind me, water's rushing through there. The viewing platforms are really good, easy to access for all ages. And not a breath of wind. I don't reckon I could have picked a much better day and no cloud or anything in the sky. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. And also, obviously I seem like a wealth of knowledge, but there's a big sign there behind me. There's a few walks from here as well. So the two, three K walks that head down into the plunge pools, etc. So you can do those as you head off through here. But uh, one of the things they say to watch out for is Eastern brown snakes and red belly blacks, I think it said. So, you know, they're quite a poisonous snake. So if you are doing quite a bit of bushwalking around here, or anything, I'd definitely recommend carrying a snake bite kit with you or some gaiters or wear long pants or jeans or something like that. Just something to keep in mind because some spots in here, it's very patchy with uh, mobile phone reception. Um, where I camped at Lemon Tree, doesn't have any phone reception down there as my phone just beeps now. So it does come in and out. Um, just those little tips there. Yeah, snake bite kit and or gaiters for that extra protection because you don't only ever get bit on the hand on the leg it's often the hands or arms alrighty alright good morning so it's been about 24 hours since I last gave you all an update and since then I've left camp at uh, the National Park drove up through to Texas crossed the border into Queensland I've been to Texas before left Texas drove over to Inverell where I had some lunch and from there no, not in Varel, sorry, Inglewood. Had lunch there, just on the side of the road. And then made my way into Toowoomba. Drove into Toowoomba with the fuel light on. Um, just made it into there, which is uh, pretty lucky. It came on a fair bit out of town, and I was wondering whether I was actually going to get there at one point, but obviously I did and got there, no worries at all. So had a bit of a look around Toowoomba. Been there quite a few times before, but made my way around. And then last night I camped behind... Murphy's Creek Tavern. Uh, there's got camping behind there. It's not really promoted or anything, but I just saw you could camp there, so I had dinner there and an early night. And this morning I was up and out by 5.30, left camp at around 6. I'm currently standing in the town of Esk, which is in the Somerset region of Queensland. Now, I have stayed in Esk before um, in the caravan park here. We spent a couple of nights here. So I'm heading from here, cross towards Kilcoy, and then dropping down into Coolum Beach where I've got to go visit someone and then after that I'm not sure probably be catching up with family tonight and then I'm not sure what I'll film around the next few days but yeah last 24 hours not a lot just highway stuff didn't worry about filming camp last night it was just a green grassy slope behind a pub 
That's about it. All right, time to jump back in. It's about 24 degrees and 7.30 now, so time to uh, kick off and the FJ's going absolutely awesome. All right, catch you soon. Trip, so we're still in Newcastle at the moment. <coughs> Gotta be home by tomorrow night, we're still well over a thousand k from home, but Serenity, the airlines. 